Filipinos here and abroad are taking part in clinical trials for possible COVID-19 vaccines. News 5's Ria Fernandez joins us now from Pasig to tell us the latest. Ria, how is the Philippines participating in this race to find the COVID cure exactly? Sean, now that the COVID-19 infections across the globe has reached the 9 million mark, more countries are racing against time to find a cure. For one, the Philippines will be participating in the World Health Organization Solidarity Trial for possible anti-COVID vaccines. At least 300 COVID-19 patients have so far agreed to participate in the WHO's clinical trial. Secretary Fortunato de la Peña told One News Agenda that they're aiming for 500 samples. By July, authorities will start looking for potential trial sites which will require additional funding. DOST pegs the cost of 3 million pesos per vaccine once it pushes through. It happens to have, uh, let's say, five uh, uh, or six uh, uh, vaccines that will be uh, uh, that will be identified. Uh, let's say 30 to 40 million per uh, per uh, vaccine. So let's say uh, put it at the maximum 40, and if there are five vaccines, there will be around 200 million that we will be uh, needing. And uh, in addition, if we uh, if there is a trial that will require still a phase two, okay, this is the, the second to the last supposed to be. Uh, that will require an additional 16 million pesos on our part. Currently, some 300 vaccines are subject to trial in different countries. I'm hopeful, I'm optimistic, but, uh, uh, you know, uh, vaccine development is a, is a complex undertaking. Uh, it comes with a lot of uh, uncertainty. But while there's none yet, various medicines have been floated as a lifesaver for COVID-19 patients, including dexamethasone, an anti-inflammatory drug used to treat severe allergies and cancer, among others. The next challenge is to increase production and rapidly and equitably distribute dexamethasone worldwide. But the health department says it's no magic pill. We want to inform and warn the public not to buy or worse, hoard it in the hope of self-medicating. Huwag po natin basta-basta iinumin ng walang payo ng doktor. They're more hopeful with a Japanese anti-flu drug Avigan, trials of which may start next month should the FDA and the Ethics Committee approve. Over in Switzerland, a Filipina is part of a team that created a method capable of analyzing 100,000 COVID test samples in just a few days all through a person's gargle. She is Catherine Aquino, a biology graduate from UP Los Baños. When we read the DNA, we can see we, we should be able to, to figure out where what strain you got and most probably where you got the, the where one got infected with, with the flu. But Aquino clarifies this just complements the real-time polymerase chain reaction or RT-PCR, the diagnostic gold standard. We have the recipe out online. Um, we're happy to collaborate with, um, with everyone actually who, who wants to use the technology. Sean, health authorities reiterate that there is still no cure for COVID-19. So at this point, the best advice that they could still give is to stay at home and practice social distancing, frequent hand washing, and wearing of face masks, among others. Sean? Thanks for all those updates. Ria Fernandez joining us live from Pasig.